After a year of shutdowns, restrictions, and limitations, the people who run our region summer camps for kids are gearing up for a season of activity, exploration, and connection. And one unique nonprofit is making sure more children get those opportunities. Kim Gable takes us to Dragon's Den on a positive note. The school year is just zipping on by, and soon it will be time to skate into summer. And for a lot of families with eager, excited kiddos, that means summer camps. And this place is one of them. We were ready finally to embrace a summer camp, but not just one summer camp. We wanted to be here and give something to every single child. The transformative learning environment known as Dragon's Den in Homestead is an indoor challenge course in the former St. Mary Magdalene Church. It opened in September and became a safe and exhilarating destination for children during the pandemic. But we all had a hard time. All the other nonprofits, the schools had a hard time. So we're here for everybody. Starting in June, they'll offer six weeks of camp activities, including theater, science, spoken word, and more. And underprivileged children in the community will also be able to attend, thanks to scholarships from the Jefferson Regional Foundation. There are a lot of families in need who would love to do this, and you're making sure that that can happen for some of these families. Definitely, and um, I know that Julia and Dra Dragon's Den has done a really great job of pursuing um, grant opportunities to have that funding available for students in need um, who don't normally get the chance to do a, a really cool camp like this, um, the opportunity to go and not worry about the financial burden. And the outreach with other nonprofits has been so rewarding. The foster care kids, uh, one of my dream was uh, in their families when so many things can change, there is one place where they can always meet and they can see each other. So one of these uh, uh, partnership is uh, with Foster Love Project. All the climbing, balancing and navigating leads to self-development, trust and cooperation to overcome any challenge. Especially after the last year where kids have been <laughs> and adults have been locked up and not able to really feel like they can run around and express who they are inside. The entire space is full of opportunity, which you can't help but feel that the minute you walk in. And now the stage is set for young people to express themselves. We got a sneak peek from the spoken word camp instructor who has some lofty goals of her own making their mouths so bodacious and loud, so bodacious and loud, that when asked, what is freedom? They say, you are looking at it. Get free. Freedom to soar into a summer of endless possibilities. Learning the ropes on a positive note. To learn more about the camps, we have a link on kdka.com. That is also where you can submit your positive stories. Just look for that yellow smiley face halfway down on the homepage.